I'm Tim Barkley with Charleston Home and Design Magazine at the 2011 Custom Home and Remodel Show. And we're talking with Elizabeth Allen with Allen Design here in the Architects Gallery of Custom Homes. How are you doing, Elizabeth? I'm great. Thanks, Tim. Good, good. Um, what have you been displaying this weekend uh, for, for homeowners visiting the Architects Gallery of Custom Homes? I have got examples of projects that I have done, both new construction and renovations and additions. So I have a screen here with some photographs of completed projects so that they can see, get a little bit of a feel for, you know, what I do, what my the final product looks like. And I also have brought with me this year some examples of construction drawings so they can kind of see what the final drawing looks like before it goes to construction and what they can expect from an architect when you get a set of plans back and things are ready to go to the contractor and ready to proceed into construction. Great. I can understand why uh, a homeowner would hire an architect if they're building a new home, but why would, uh, why would a homeowner hire an architect if they're going to do, uh, renovate or remodel their home? Well, in my opinion, it is almost as valuable or is as valuable on a renovation as it is in new construction because the potential for unforeseen conditions in a renovation is much higher than it is in new construction. New construction is not as messy as a renovation job is. I'll give you an example. I just had a project that I finished in Owendall and there was a bathroom that we were converting to two bathrooms, large bathroom we were converting to two bathrooms, only involved putting in a new wall and relocating some plumbing fixtures. Fairly simple, no problem. Well, when the plywood floor was removed, we discovered that the previous contractor, whoever had built the house originally, had taken large sections out of the floor joists that were rendering them practically, you know, not there. The structural integrity of the entire floor system that was spanning 20 feet was gone. So we had to come in and reframe the entire floor system. Because I was involved in the project from the very beginning, they called me that morning. I was out there two hours later, had, a, had it sketched up, fixed, called the lumber company. Material got dropped that afternoon. They fixed it the next morning. So while the plumber was still on site, he did other things. We fixed what we needed to fix, and then the plumber was able to finish. The homeowner lost no time and was able to continue. Had there not been an architect involved in the project, they really would have had a mess on their hands. One, if they even knew that there was a problem structurally, and two, how to determine the best manner in which to fix it. So the architect uh, becomes the eyes and ears for, for uh, on, on the homeowner's behalf? Yes, that is the traditional architect's role. The architect is the owner's representative, and they are there to protect the owner's interest to during construction to ensure that the project is going and proceeding per the construction documents, and to deal with anything, you know, like the previous example that comes up during construction or any changes or questions that the contractor might have during construction as well. And then also to provide accountability uh, f for what the contractor is doing. Yes, exactly. And the best relationship that the homeowner can have is to have a contractor and an architect that get along very well so that the relationship is not adversarial and that there's good communication between the contractor, the architect, and the architect and the homeowner. And in the long run, that ends up with a better product, less expensive, more efficient, and everybody's happy in the end. And that's what you want. You don't want a homeowner that, you know, you have a great, great process during design. They're so excited and they get into construction and by the end they're like, oh, can I just move in? I want to be finished with this. You want them to be excited throughout the process so that when they do move in, they're thrilled. They love the house. They love the final product. And the final product is what they thought it was going to be when they started working with you. Yeah, and uh, back to the uh, your participation in the Architects Gallery of Custom Homes here at the Custom Home Remodel Show. H how's it been for you this weekend? It's been it's been very good. The um, lots of people stopping, lots of traffic, which has been wonderful. Um, I think the having the um, cocktail party last night with the kitchens and bath and all that jazz was great. I think it was wonderful on the Saturday night. Everybody seemed rejuvenated, you know, not tired from their week, and um, had lots of people, you know, wanting to chat. You know, asking general questions, specific questions. You know, the day has passed very quickly, which means there have been lots and lots of people to talk to. So I think it's been a it's been a great success this year. Great. And how can folks get in touch with you at Allen Design? Um, you can contact me on the phone. My phone number is eight eight one three seven seven three, and I'd be happy to talk with them about anything that they need. Just have any general questions or you know anything you know project specific. I help clients from the standpoint of I have some clients that 
come to me before they've even purchased a piece of property to say, hey, you know, we're thinking about building, you know, a house of this size and this is the lot we're looking at. Can you come take a look at it for us and make sure that there's nothing that you see from a zoning standpoint that would prevent us from being able to do what we want to do, you know, so on and so forth, um, you know, to clients that already have a lot, already have a builder, just need an architect, you know, it's a little bit of everything. So, um, you know, but just give me a buzz on the phone. I'd be happy to talk with anybody about anything. How about a website? Um, my website is Allen Design Architect architecture.com. Okay, great. We've been talking with Elizabeth Allen with Allen Design here at the Architects Gallery of Custom Homes at the 2011 Custom Home and Remodel Show at Gallaudet Auditorium. Thanks so much, Elizabeth. Thanks, Tim.